I thought I was all alone again. Get up, quick! He's asleep. Better leave them be when they get like this. It's just a straight drive from now on. He tried to teach me to drive, but... He just went out like this. Can you drive? Hooray! We're moving again!
As long as there is blood. What's his blood type? Hey, be positive. We could give him any type. Get everyone here. Don't go to sleep. <sighs> you can't go to sleep now. Well, hello there, Artyom. How about we take a walk? <laughs> Staying underground grew old. That's it, Stepan. You can't give more. Look! He's up! Can you hear me, Artyom? Don't you dare, Dionys. Just don't you dare. You've got a whole life ahead of you. And kids! So fight for it. Fight! Why did you stop? <laughs> Didn't you always want to go outside? <laughs> Didn't you open that airlock at the botanical gardens? <laughs> this place is much better. This isn't your destination, Artyom. You're not there yet, not even close. It's not your station, it's just a dead end. Not your goal. Can you hear me? Give me your hand. Oh, you're burning up. Well, I... I hope this old man's blood will do something about that... that hot head of yours, eh? <laughs> Come on. Let's go. You know, I finally feel like I belong somewhere. I am no longer an outsider. You keep us together, Artyom. You must survive, for all of our sakes. Let's go to the summit. Hear me, Artyom. You've got a wife you need to work on making kids with. And my fiancé is still in Moscow. We still have to stir some shit up back in the metro, so don't you fucking dare die here. Look, Artyom. Lake Baikal. Ah, makes you believe real life is possible. Not the petty rat race we had back in the metro. I just... Just have to say... You were right, Artyom. Right for wanting to get us out. Bring us here. And I... The old fool. I was simply afraid. Afraid of life, as I see now. Look, he's smiling. Smiling in his sleep. He even seems to say something. It's his fever talking. He's burning up. This world is worth giving everything up for, Artyom. You were always ready. And I uh, was too attached to my position in the rat race. I'm sorry. Sorry for what happened to Anna. Sorry for blaming you. Had I not pumped everyone up about the occupying forces, she'd never have fallen there. I do. I beg you, don't die. Stay with me, please. I don't want a life if you're not a part of it. Can you hear me? Look at me, Artyom. Look at me, please. Yes, about Anna. You will have to look out for her, now that I can't anymore. I don't care if you go to that ocean. Just stay with her. <coughs> I'm keeping her out. She can barely stand herself, but she's ready to give all her blood to him. At least the medicine helped. It's a miracle. I have a daughter, but I also wanted a son. A really stubborn one. 
Just like me. Like you. I really like this place. It's so clean. I'd like to stay here. Forever. Could you arrange that for me? <laughs> and the most important thing... My time's up, Artyom. It's your turn now. Step up. Lead them. Just remember that I created the Order to save people. All people, Artyom. Don't forget that. Because I somehow did. Goodbye, Commander. Time to wake up. Come on. Rise and shine, son. The fever is subsiding. I think he's getting better. Now he needs some rest. You too, Anna. We've got hope now. We found the place I saw in my dream. That hill on the shores of Baikal where Miller took me. A clean place, just like he said. Everything around is clean. We found ourselves a home. A home at the foot of a hill, overlooking a lake. A home where we could raise our children, who will be born not in the damp and dark tunnels, but under blue sky and bright sun. Ladies and gentlemen, as the ranking officer, I propose a motion to entrust the duty of commanding the order to our job. Unanimously approved. So, what would your orders be, sir? I would say we all go home. But this home seems too large for just us. You know, the colonel once told me he created the order to save people. All of them. I say it's time we perform this duty. <laughs> 